Hello guys, welcome back. In this video, uh, I have a Juniper MX204. So right now, uh, it's running version 21. Let me show you. CLI, show system information. That's the version. We are upgrading to version 22.3R8. Uh, I show you in a moment. So um, basically, we, as we can see right here, there's different releases. I mean, there are more releases between version 21 and version 22. So we are executing this particular array using the no validate option. So um, let's just check if we have connectivity with my TFTP server because we are using uh, a TFTP to traffic information. Yes, it's responding. So um, we are um, copy. We are we are, we are executing. You know, we need to go to the shell and use a secure copy protocol to transfer the operating system to uh, to the uh, bar TMT directory. So exit, and from here S S P Carlos at one ninety two that one six eight that zero that one two the full path in my TFTP bar lead the TFTP boot and the operating system name paste is this one the version if we are transferred to bar dash TMP enter this will take about maybe like three four minutes depend of the depend of the size of the file yes So we are starting the you know the transfer the operating system. One well, once we are there, I show you uh, how the how to install the command to install the operating system. And this particular uh, Uniper MX204 is a uh, quite different from the uh, MX240 for 80 uh, that series. The command is different, and the reason why I doing this because uh, one of my customer called me the other day. And they, I don't know, they, they apparently they were executing the wrong command, and uh, I, I, you know, that's why I'm doing this video, you know, too, uh, as reference, you know, as you know, we offer support, and then you know, I mean, we can just, you know, send this video to, to, uh, to my customer, and they can, you know, just uh, fix the situation or see, uh, you know, ch in order to check what is the right way, what is the comma exactly common to upgrade the Uniper MX204 so apparently everything is transferred already right there uh, so let's go to a CLI uh, from here is you execute request system software add dash bar dash TMP and I believe that was the case of my customer see right here uh, no supporter please try being host command so i believe they try to do that because the common is a little is a this different so the the common is request system bm host request bm host software add dash bar dash tmp and the operating system name paste and no dash validate because it, 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 there exists different releases between the version 20 and the version and the version uh, 22 so I'm just trying you know to avoid any issue you know uh, with the upgrade process that's why I use it not validated enter And this will take about maybe uh, three, four minutes, five minutes maybe. So let's see. I always recommend to check the Juniper documentation, you know, the, in order to check what is the right path to upgrade the uh, the equipment, especially you know, on NMX, NMX two forties or four eighties. Um, you know, if you are running a very low version, seventeen. 
there is a serial upgrade you know to reach a uh, version 20 or 21 so check that documentation in order you know to upgrade the upgrade you know a successful upgrade so let's just wait until the process is complete here so the process is, is complete uh, we can see right here all the upgrade process you know different file that were upgraded so um, all this information right here look at that so basically uh, we need just you know to reboot the unit in order to complete the upgrade so we are executing the common right here request being host reboot yes so this will take a few minutes and uh, we are after that we're checking you know uh, the new uh, Junos OS running on the uh, MX204 let's let's just let's wait bueno, como podemos excuse me uh, as we can see you know the uh, the equipment is already uh, reboot let's check if we upgrade successfully to the other other version yes CLI show system information so that's the new version running on the chassis now show chassis hardware detail show chassis uh, FPC pick status I uh, always recommend run this command and uh, show chassis routing engine show chassis environment just to make sure that all fans and power are working properly everything is working fine show chassis alarm and show system alarm yeah apparently everything is working and the upgrade was successful thank you guys so much for your time i really appreciate it and please if you like the video please subscribe to my channel and give me a like share with your friends and co-workers and if you have any question or if you have any equipment you know that need to that need to see need to be upgrade please let me know i help you Thank you so much for your time. Have a good afternoon. Thank you.